Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Um, we are now with this little monkey Salsa, who has a girlfriend who is being held captive by the Pig Mask Army. And because we love her and would do anything for her, we are being tormented and forced to help this man, this not nice man named Facade. Not exactly sure what we're helping him with. Or how much help we're really being, because we're just a tiny monkey who started at level 1. Now, through the magic of poop, we are level 9! We're still not very good at things though, and mostly just guard and let this horrible man fight our battles for us. So we're gonna keep going now. Hey, don't get in yet, you stupid monkey! Alright, listen up. When you want to stop the pork bean while it's moving, press the B button. While it's stopped, press the B button again to get out. Got all that? Then get in! Get in the pork bean? Yes, I shall. Now we zoom. We can't go that way. I did check the map, but I thought maybe there might be something hidden. But there wasn't. There was nothing hidden. Oh, alright. I guess that was an enemy, but we just went boomf. I wonder if it's back. It's not. Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, look at this really technologically intense tunnel. It's beautiful. The scenery. Okay, now we're back underground. Oh, there. That's another thing. That's... Oh, it's like a butt. Should I try and... Okay, I can't. I was gonna try and fight it, but it's like, mm-mm. Is there stuff? Oh, presents. Let's get some presents. Present. A chick bandana. Nut bread. More defense. Oh. Whoa. So many presents. But, it doesn't look like you can get through this chain link shutter. <sighs> we'll have to leave them. Okay, well, whatever. Hey, frog. Save your game? I mean, we didn't really do much, but sure. <laughs> I will. Oh! I can try and fight some roaches now. Oh, what? Do I not fight these? I just push them around? That's funny, actually. Okay. I can't carry. Seriously? Alright. Well, bye-bye, done. I hope you weren't legendary. What's in here? Well, I'll come back to that after as I have one. Please refrain from throwing running bombs while indoors. It makes things all smoky. But now I want to. Can I try anyway? I want to know what happens if I do it. The dewy do is defeated. Go, facade. Murder that do. Oh. Failed. Can I attack the do? Well, I know I can attack it, but not for much of anything. I won! Oh my gosh, I got so much experience. A mosquito charm? Is that better than the charm I have? Probably. A little bit. Okay, now I gotta trash the flea charm. Up here, okay. And take this running bomb. I feel lied to, it's not smoky at all. Oh! And then we came out of this gravestone.
To the south of the cemetery is a village. There's a place there called the Yaddo Inn where we can stay the night. That's where we're headed now. Okay. So, oh yeah, there are still zombies. I was wondering if there would be. Turn to the dust of the earth. Okay. We're not gonna poke around here though, because I definitely don't wanna fight those uh moving blocks. Blocks? Uh you know what I mean, the tombstones. I don't wanna fight those with this crew. That would not be a good time. I mean, I'm a little bit curious as to if people are there. No zombies allowed. There's a lot of zombies there. Are you aware? Uh, this tall man never leaves this spot, and I've never seen him talk with anyone either. How do you know this? Have you been here before? Hmm. Why, hello there. What do you think of the wonderful bag I gave you? When did you come here? Okay. Is it to your liking? Oh, it's you, Mr. Facade. Don't scare me like that. Actually, I was just coming to see how much is in here. Nwahahaha. <laughs> just please be extra careful that it doesn't get swiped by any thieves. Oh, you put that thought into his head. I'm not sure why, but the stuff is incredible. Just having lots of it can get you anything you want. Oh, it's Duster. Right, this is when we bumped into him. Oh, pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. Monty's like, save me. Save me, Duster. Duster's got his own stuff to do. Not his own mission. And there he's talking to the man about the bag. Money, there's money inside. You don't know what money is? I don't know either. Ha ha ha. What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I gave him some pigs. Alright, let me hide some money. Oh, we're hiding. Really? We're just behind the well this entire time? I'm gonna hide in this well here. Duster, it's just between you and me. Oh, we're a bad man. <laughs> Are you gonna take it? But you put it back. Salsa's is a good monkey. Salsa wouldn't eat anyone's face. No. How much is a lodging fee, my good man? Uh. There is no how much here. Please feel free to stay the night. Oh, I see. Still. It's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I guess it's okay then. I'll kindly accept your offer. I suppose it could make a great doorstop. Your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourself at home and have pleasant dreams. Thank you. Come, little Salsa. Where's your thank you? Uh, I don't know. Wrong one. Whoops. Oh my, what was that? Oh, it's nothing. I'm sure he's merely tired after our long trip. Well then, if you'll excuse us, come, little Salsa. Let's go to our room, shall we? Uh... This is Tasmanly Village. Everyone is nice. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Hey there, monkey. Do you not have a girlfriend? I do, actually. Oh, good evening. Good evening, Tess. You're going to work hard for me starting tomorrow. Now go to sleep. Alright. Oh, I just plumped on the ground. Oh, do 
I have a phone? Oh, facade. You've arrived at a Soe castle? Good. Wait until dawn and storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle? That's it? You only saw him? Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. No. He's a thief. He wants the limp. I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. Yeah, okay, I leave it in your hands. Stay alert. <gasps> Facade to the money. Ow. Did you think? You could run away from me? That's why. You're such a stupid monkey. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to the room and sleep. Don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh! But you know, if you were going to run away, I'm sure there were some more intelligent ways you could have done it. Like trying to disguise yourself, or trying to walk without making any sound, but I guess monkeys just aren't intelligent enough for things like that. No way! I wasn't really trying to run away, I was trying to see what you were up to. And it was no good. Oh no! Jeez. No, you could have just said good morning. How long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your tricks all happy like, prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? <sighs> okay. I wonder what today's weather will be like. I don't know. This village was much more carefree until just recently. Yeah, we've had a hard time. Hi there. Hi. Come, gather around. Come, one and all, fair denizens of Tasmali. Congratulations are in order for the hard work you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about happiness. Look at that little dance. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families, and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. But there's still something missing, a tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Odd animals that have never been seen before now lurk in our forests, and giant balloon-like objects soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's not all, not by a long shot. The word on the wind says that in the very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and woods will rain down on us almost daily. You should trust the word on the wind. The word on the wind is legit. Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real. Something like that would never happen. But I truly believe this will soon be a reality. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. You can obtain happiness very easily. 
Just look here at my dancing monkey. Isn't he cute? Look at that little dance. His arms and his legs, they're adorable. <laughs> Even my cute adorable salsa is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that this monkey has just gotten a head start on obtaining happiness. I think the right dance is my favorite. It's very cute. How exactly did little Salsa here manage to find happiness? All those who are interested, please raise your hand boisterously. Who wants to be happy? We got Abbott and Abby and I can't remember Matt's son and... I feel like I should remember his name because we stole a bunch of antidotes from him, I think. But I don't know his name. Oh dear little Salsa, go and ask the nice people who want happiness for their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. I'm Biff. I'm not really sure what this is about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. I'm Abby. I respect my husband Abbott. Okay, there's nothing bad about having too much happiness, is there? Isaac Wright. Yes, Isaac, we stole your antidotes. Please don't let that be the reason you need to be happy. I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it really is that easy to be happy. My name is Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff, it somehow makes me happy. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. Everyone, if even just one more of us can achieve happiness, all will be right in the world. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, please think it over later. And if you decide that you do want happiness after all, feel free to let me know any time. Well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Take care! Now then, come along little Salsa, let us return to the Yaddo Inn. Yeah, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle? Why can't you just kick them out? What? You can't because they're too tough. Alright, I'll be right over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. What are they looking for, I wonder? Who knows? Alright, Monty, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbott? Abby, Biff, Isaac, those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. And don't even think of trying to run away. You'll come straight back to this room. If you can't do it in under 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more than charred if that happens. If you try to run from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it? Ooh. And get to it already. If you can finish delivering them in under 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart, because I feel just terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. Well, you could just give me food or drink. So be grateful! <laughs> Alright. I don't know if there's actually a timer. Like, clearly there's not one on the screen, but I don't know if this section is actually timed or not. I really don't remember it. <laughs> but, let's do get the boxes. Oh, Jill, what are you gonna say? Probably something mean. Oh, you poor thing having to wear such a tight collar. Oh, I guess that's not that mean. You stink like a monkey. Well, I am a monkey. Oh, you're that monkey that's famous for being happy. Maybe I should order the happy bots too. What's well, a dot? I know that you're unhappy. I also know that Isaac's house is at the entrance to the forest. I have a special scary story. Want to hear it? Okay. The truth is, for a long time, I've been taking nuts I find in the forest and then hiding them in this house. But when I went to check on them the other day, they had all been made into bread! <laughs> huh? You don't seem very scared. It's terrifying. Truly strikes fear into my heart. It's good music. Oh! Yep, and we can see now that the Pigmast army has invaded. The tire traps are there. Okay. Oh. If you need something from the map, love and map, only maps, then it must be a map, yes? 
Oh, you're a monkey, but you have a map. For some reason, I'm just itching to mark it. Let me see it for a second. Oh, thank you. All right. I guess these are the boxes. Got a happy box. Oh, he marked all of them. That's nice. All right. Well, we can't run with this thing. So, I guess this is now Salsa's delivery service. Too bad we don't have a broom. We could be magic, like Kiki. I recently rewatched that movie when they all came to Canadian Netflix. Um, because before I hadn't seen it since I was like a kid, and I'd only watched it once. Do you guys get one or two? Probably two. Oh wow, so this is a happy bots. Ha ha ha, this is great. Happy bots. Thanks, monkey. Oh, you're welcome, Abbott. Oh. Gave the happy bots to Abbott. Oh, you ordered one too, Abbott? I guess we don't need two, do we? I'll cancel my order then. Sorry to bother you. Only two more to go. Wow. Don't know why, but the fact you can be happy as long as you have this makes me happy. Ha 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 ha. Sorry. You're not really sure what to make of it. So, it looks like either a TV or a computer. I set it up there to see how it looks. I love how nice and pink it is. It is quite pink. You are right. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so I had only watched Kiki's Delivery Service like once as a kid. Um, yeah, it was okay. I don't know. It wasn't my favorite Ghibli movie for sure. I feel like... I don't know. I know a lot of people like it. But I just kind of feel like not a lot happened. I get that it's more about Kiki like, you know, coming into her own than like a big plot or whatever. But I don't know. It was okay. It wasn't bad. Bum, bum. I really like Castle in the Sky and Howl's Moving Castle. Those are my two favorites. Howl's is like one of the only situations in which I prefer the movie to the book. Um, not that the book isn't good, just like as the author mentioned, the movie characters are like much better versions of themselves than the book characters. Like, Hal and Sophie aren't, like, the best people in the books, which is fine. Um, but they're, like, yeah, they're just better people in the movie. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, thanks a bunch. Now I can be happy, too. For some reason, I actually do feel happy. Well, I'm glad. Where did you set it up? Right there. Okay, I think is Oh, monkey, 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 monkey. All right, there we go. <laughs> A happy bots. So let's. I mean, let's. It's like either a TV or a computer. <laughs> I don't know. It looks kind of computery, but there's no keyboard, so that's a little pointless. Um. Probably just like a really old school TV. I don't know where this other bots went. Like, I know she said she'd cancel her order, but who told anyone that? I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who knew. And the bots is just gone. So, clearly, Maps in there helped himself to a happy bots. I don't see what else could possibly have happened. So there's a little heart on this thing. Uh, Sparrow, do you want it? You want the bots? I don't know. Okay, let's go past the shrine. Let's just go give it to the dragon god or whatever was talking to us. I don't know. Want a happy bots? Are there going to be monsters? Because I don't know how I can fight. I'm just going to not. I'm going to try and not. Because I don't have my... Uh, a man facade to uh, do my dirty work for me. There we go. Oh, is this it? What is it? Will this thing really bring me happiness? I don't know. Probably not. Gave the happy bots to Isaac. You finished delivering happy bots to everyone who wanted one. Good work. That must have been heavy. Give my thanks to Mr. Facade for his generous gift. I really appreciate it. I like how you were resourceful and used the bots to store your firewood. 
Now, your firewood can be happy too. There are a lot of antidotes, but I can't hold any more stuff. However, it does seem like I would have been able to steal them. <laughs> Alright, well, this is where we're going to leave off for today. We finished being a delivery monkey. Um, so next time, we'll make our way back to the inn. I think that's where he was? I honestly don't even remember. Whatever, we'll go back to the inn and try and find Facade and see if he's happy with what we've done. Who knows if we took enough time. We didn't take 22 minutes, but we'll see. It was just a banana anyway. Alright, that's all for today. Bye!